uh, 31st January today, 2020, and we are here in English Literature class, here at Reader's Academy of English Language and English Literature, behind Girls Degree College near Advocate Kalpana Devi House, Larkana. Our official sale number is 0333756910. Well, today gonna be a very significant topic here in the class and we are going to discuss about romantic moment. As always, uh, I try my level best to simplify the terms for you in literature and let me tell you first the term romantic where do we find its roots in literature? The term romantic is usually used by Germanic critics rather than English first. At the end of the 18th century to describe features found in their own literature. Globally speaking, the romantic movement are the awareness or the familiarity about the term romanticism or romantic came to be known from Germany. In this regard, the first pioneers of romantic movement were movement were globally speaking German great poet Goethe, great philosopher. Emil Kant and Scaling and his killers, these were the, these were the great literary uh, giants of German literature. They laid the foundation of romantic movement globally. When we talk about the romantic period in literature, in especially English literature, then we have to think about four or five dates, four or five important events we have to think. Generally, it is believed that romantic movement, the most common belief or the most common reason cited everywhere is that romantic movement in British literature began with the publication of a, one monumental document are a book called Lyrical Ballads and that book was published around 1798. That book heralded romantic movement in British literature and it was the joint uh, you know work of two intimate friends S. T. Coleridge and William Wordsworth. They co-authored this work and they called it Lyrical Ballads. Now when we talk about this Lyrical Ballad or Ballads, so there were the melodious songs, Ballads. The book contained four poems. Uh, sorry, uh, let me correct. The book contained Lyrical Bells contained 24 poems. 19 poems were written by William Wordsworth and the 4 poems, the remaining, were written by S.T. Coleridge. And this book highly influenced in the succeeding ages the authors who came after the Romantic movement. There is a speciality of lyrical ballads. The 24 poems all together shook the world of classicism. In a one book, 24 poems written by two friends. Earlier, one epic poem was contained 24 chapters, 12 chapters. And here, first time in the book, we find 24 poems challenging the rules of classism. Hence, 
lyrical ballads is known with various names it is also known the manifesto of romantic poets also known the magna carta of english poetry you remember magna carta carta was a charter of women rights liberties brought by king john in 1215 but this monumental piece of literature called lyrical ballads is called the magna carta of english literature or british literature it propagated the liberty freedom in poetry hence it is also called uh, you know manifesto of romantic poets magna carta of romantic poets and also the very book that laid the foundation of romantic movement this is the one justified most often quoted reason that romantic movement came in british